All right, so this is the Hyatt Regency Paris Etoile. I've never stayed here before. It's a new one for me. So I'm on the 23rd floor. So it should have really good views of Paris. This is a king size bed, so it's a king room. Breakfast is included in my stay. On the sides of the bed, there's USB charging. There's a dimmable light, which is quite nice. There's the bed. There's a television. Small desk area. Um, you've got a Euro plug, USB-A power, but you've also got one of those multi-plugs, which is pretty handy if you're traveling. So that will accept um, the American plugs and it will also accept British plugs and Euro plugs, normally Euro plugs. Uh, there's a small fridge, which is complimentary to use, but no water. Uh, a sofa and this. I would point out whoever designed this room needs a bit of a speaking to because this doesn't cl stay closed. I've tried. That is the most ridiculous design because if you were sleeping that side, that will get you at night when you get out of bed. Um, but there is a safe. Uh, you've got more dimmable lights here, an additional um, Euro sockets too, and two more USBs. They don't look like high powered USB. Got this little kettle. Take this home. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so tea and coffee, some complimentary water. And I guess this is just storage. Yep. Got well, proper iron, hair dryer, reasonable size storage, a small ironing board, walk in shower. Toiletries. Uh, is that not? Ah, yes, I was going to say, is there not a door on there? But there is, yep. Um, shaving sockets. That? Uh, amenity kits. Manicure set. Cotton wool pads. A shower cap. What's the last one? Cotton buds. Got some more conditioner, some soap, the time. It's just the time. Uh, tissues, towels, Got toilet there. It's quite compact. Beautiful mirror. Uh, Let's see. Oh, whoops. So there's a slidey door, there's no lock. There's a nice mirror. So, yeah, 23rd floor, room 22. They'll pretty much look the same size, yeah. Um, breakfast is downstairs. And that's it. So, a couple of observations, I would say. I've stayed in other hotels where normally you get an espresso machine. Um, not Novotels, but, you know, the, the smaller ones, you do normally get a nice espresso machine. Um, I wouldn't want to work at that desk for any period of time. It's quite small, but I guess you're not coming to Paris perhaps to work. Um, what I'll say is let's have a look. So over there, that is Sacre Coeur quite nice to have that view um, the taxi ride was 35 minutes from Charles de Gaulle Airport and that's probably normal it's a Sunday night it's around 9 p.m. so I flew over from Heathrow in the evening 
the peripheric, which is over there, will be a disaster. So you'll want to watch for that if you're traveling to or from the airport during rush hour. Rush hour in Paris is probably from about 5 p.m. until I'd probably say about 7.38, uh, maybe a little bit later. Right, so this is the ground floor. Got the lift areas just here and entrance to the shopping center. We've got concierge, check-in, and then it's meeting rooms. Breakfast is served over here. Let's go and take a look. Coffee machines with takeaway cups. There's a couple of them dotted around. Got a gluten-free section. Just here. Plenty of pastries. The Madeleines are delicious. Couldn't resist. Some baguette and a Madeleine. Some strawberry jam and the yummy butter. 